Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Electric Dreams demo inside of Unreal Engine 5.2, but this time we're going to be inside of VR, and this is just absolutely insane. I mean, this is probably the most realistic graphics that you can try inside of VR, and it just looks absolutely incredible. Now you can just see all the little detail on the rocks, the pebbles, all on the ground, and the reflections, and the little puddle of water. And this is all real time. This is not pre-rendered footage. I just put on my VR headset and I'm just looking around the scene. And for all of those that are wondering, I'm running this on my RTX 4090 rig and I'm using a Oculus Quest 2 with, with the wireless Quest Link. And it's running at a very smooth frame rate. And this has to be the most intensive demo out of all the stuff that Epic has released, especially with all the nanite foliage. I mean, things like the jungle trees, the bushes, and vines, they're each casting their own individual shadows. And on top of that, this is all procedurally generated using the new PCG tools that were released in Unreal Engine 5.2. And I think we're going to get to the point where graphics are pretty much indistinguishable between reality. Now, before we get into the video, I want to really quickly tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. We create things like an inventory system, crafting system, an open world map that uses PCG to procedurally spawn all the foliage on the map, complete building system, harvesting system. There's over 50 plus hours of course content. So head over to smartpoly.teachable.com and get an early access discount on the course. The price of the course will be raised later on, so make sure you don't miss out so check the link in the description below or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more all right so here we are inside of the electric dreams demo in unreal engine 5.2 so when i put my vr headset on for the first time first of all i was not expecting it to work at all right out of the box but as you can see here it just looks unreal i mean i don't really have any words to describe this you can see all the detail especially in the nanite meshes just on the moss on the rocks we have, you know, these fallen wooden logs on the ground, and especially the reflections on the puddle. I mean, basically the Electric Dreams demo is this jungle environment with these huge cliff pillars with vines hanging off of them and big jungle canopies. I mean, I can even crouch up here and just get really close and show you guys the reflections in this water. And even as I was looking down at the water, I could see my own reflection of the VR pond's hands. So, I mean, it just feels like you're in a dream because it doesn't really seem like this is real or at least, you know, this really doesn't feel like it should exist. You can look really closely at the ground and just see all the little rocks poking out of the riverbed and even these little patches of clovers. I mean, the believable parts of it is just a combination of all of Unreal Engine 5's flagship features. You have things like the nanite meshes that are enabled on everything from the trees, the bushes, the rocks. It's all using Nanite so you can have literal photo scan assets of real world objects with detail up to a centimeter, which they've done for all these rocks. I mean, these are all photo scan rocks. And also for these bushes, I mean, take one of these bushes, for example, each bush, tree or vine here, it's not a single flat image plane like what you normally see in most games these days. Every single leaf that you see here is an actual modeled mesh that is casting dynamic shadows and is subtly moving with the wind. And the other feature that you have also in play here is, I mean, well, the lighting. You have Unreal Engine 5's Illumin Global Illumination, which lights the entire scene with one directional lighting source, and it creates this bounce lighting that looks so natural and lifelike. And then, of course, the final feature which is PCG, which stands for Procedural Content Generation, and it powers the procedural generation of creating this entire map. And what's unbelievable to me is actually, I made a tutorial video on how to show you how to make this entire scene in under a minute. Yeah, that's right. It only takes a minute using the PCG tools just to drag and drop them into the level, move the splines around, and click Generate. And by the way, I didn't really have to do anything to get this demo to work inside of VR. It just works right outside the box, which means that Epic really has worked on Nanite and Lumen to support VR. And each engine update makes it more and more stable, which means that, you know, now with Unreal Engine 5.2, I think we're going to actually be seeing some more VR games be released using Nanite and Lumen tech very soon. I mean, this technology exists and we have all the hardware that is capable of running this at a very good frame rate. And just think in the next few years, we'll probably have even more performant GPUs 
And who knows what the future holds in terms of, you know, how much more realistic you can make this environment. Okay, so here we have another level, and this is just the showcase level showing you the different mega scans assets that make up the entire scene that we just saw a minute ago. So all of this is comprised of these high quality nanite meshes, and they really did a good job on blending these all together because they had to look at some sort of reference images to put these things together because they aren't one big scanned mesh. These are actually comprised of multiple different rock scans, you know, roots, bushes. These are all different static meshes combined into this one you know, big mound that we have here. And you know, having it in the showcase level where you have this you know, plain white uh, background floor, it kind of just looks like you downloaded a chunk of reality into your game. But I mean, you can see all the little roots there sticking out of the side of the dirt. And the way that it blends so naturally, you wouldn't even think that there are two separate meshes. Now let's go over here where we can actually try and climb on top of these little embankments. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this one out here. So yeah, look at this. Now we're on top of the world. And I mean, even look at these little berries on this bush. It makes you kind of want to just pick them and try and eat them. But yeah, even this log over here, you can see this the detail on this photo scan log. VR supporting Nanite and Lumen really has come a long way inside of Unreal Engine. And over here we have part of the river embankment. And this is just crazy seeing this up close. I mean, you have all these little river rocks down here. And then these big roots that are, you know, growing up through the soil. And I'm standing up right now looking, you know, directly up. And it's just crazy to experience and see stuff like this inside of VR. I mean, there's so many different possibilities and even learning opportunities. Just imagine you're watching, you know, a documentary inside of VR where, where it can actually take you to a one-to-one -one recreation of an event. I'm not talking about a static 360 video, but an actual live experience or demo that you can walk through and look around. But yeah, look at this. You can just see all the trees and foliage that are moving around in the wind which really gives it that subtle movement and realism that you wouldn't notice day to day. But in VR, every little thing adds to the immersion. And here's another embankment right here. And this one is like if part of the riverbed collapse, you have, you know, these rocks piled up and then these fallen logs, which look so natural. The only real limitation that I can think of or that I'm currently experiencing is, I mean, the headset. I'm actually using the Oculus Quest 2, which I bought all the way back in 2020, which I can't believe it has been that long, but the resolution of the screen is pretty decent, but it's just not high enough where I wouldn't notice the pixels. And maybe I'll have to try this with a higher resolution headset. And I think the Quest 3 is supposed to come out at the end of the year, so I'll have to check that out. But I think when we get higher resolution and higher refresh rate headsets, I think that will really sell the experience a lot more. And I mean, who knows, VR might be the future. I mean, we have companies like Facebook and now even Apple investing tons of money into their headsets. And who knows if we're gonna be living in some sort of you know virtual world like Ready Player One. You know, with the graphics that are indistinguishable from real life. But I think VR is so niche right now that a big company like Apple, who you know has a very big customer base and has very popular common products like their iPhones, VR kind of just needs a company to push it into mainstream. I mean, right now it seems that everyone and their dog owns a Quest 2 headset, but you know maybe you put it on once a year when the family gets together it's just not really something that you use you know on a day to day basis so yeah that's going to probably be it for this video i just wanted to test out the electric dreams demo inside of vr let me know if there are any other demos i should try testing out inside of vr in unreal engine 5.2 check out some of my other videos where i test out this same exact demo, but with DLSS 3.0, using the new frame generation feature, which can actually double your frame rate. And yeah, check out my multiplayer survival game course, link in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.